Uh, it seems that matter is basically mass and energy swirling around each other. The same could be said for solar systems. Is it possible our solar system is an atom or the Milky Way is a molecule? That was a deep thought uh -huh. 100 and, uh, yeah, yeah. 110 years ago. People, yeah, yeah. as we started probing the structure of the atom, we looked at it and said, oh, there's a nucleus, there's yeah, yeah. electrons, and they're orbiting around. Maybe that's just a mini. But there are no cats, <laughs> and there's no cows and farms and buildings. <laughs> when we come back, I will give the answer to why atoms are not solar systems. You're listening to Star Talk Radio. Basically, they were like, is our solar system an atom or is the Milky Way a molecule? Yeah, and these are great questions, uh, deep yeah. questions that were asked about 120 yeah. years ago. He's about 120 right. years late in right. asking this. Right around when Hashish first reached <laughs> Boston. Um, interesting, you have the date for that. So, here's the, the problem. The yeah. problem, when we discovered atoms and that there's a nucleus and, and electrons, we say, hey, that looks like a solar system. Yeah. I wonder if inside an atom there's yet another atom and yeah, another yeah. atom. And this is an episode of Mork and Mindy, but yeah. It turns out that the laws of physics that describe what goes on in a solar system mm -hmm. are different from the laws of physics that describe what goes on in an atom. And so the conduct of matter and energy is mm -hmm. completely different in these two regimes. Really? And because of it, as, as you mentioned before the break, no, within atoms, you don't have cats. You know, you, right. don't, you don't have... Yeah, the, bulletin the, boards. <laughs> the stuff that does not happen inside of atoms right. that happens macroscopically. Right. So the microscopic world and macroscopic... So the macroscopic, physically. The macroscopic world responds to what we call classical physics, mm -hmm. right? And the microscopic world responds to quantum physics. Quantum physics actually applies to the whole universe, but on a large enough scale, it looks like classical physics, and the equations are easier. So we just use it, right. use those modes to describe it. So, no, it's not just the Russian egg, the Russian dolls. The nesting dolls. The nesting dolls. Uh, all, that's how you say that? Matryoshki, yeah. Matryoshki. Very good. Says you my, and I should go to <laughs> Moscow. No. <laughs> Matryoshki dolls. So, no, it's, it's just not that. But it would yeah. have been a really cool philosophical uh, uh, yeah. revelation. So there's no life inside of an atom or molecule? None that no, we no. know of or that we would have ever defined as such. That's right. correct. 